talking about traveling all morning yeah. long on the roads. It's going to be tricky. Imagine trying to head to the airport this weekend. Oh boy, it's going to be messy. Jennifer, uh, Jennifer, Jennifer, Jennifer Donchez is here from VIP Vacations. Good yes. to see you, Jen. Good to see you guys. Yeah, I've seen you a little bit. Okay, so the weather. Which Sue just gave us that maybe four to six inches. I mean, that's going to affect travel. A lot of people are traveling this weekend, aren't they? Quick getaways? They, they are, because, you know, the holiday is falling over a weekend, so right. people are going early. And when the airlines came in and put $10 on for travel the day before Christmas, a lot of people said, okay, we'll go earlier. Mm -hmm. So there's going to be some, you know, issues going through security. And make sure you get there early. Check in online. That's always good. And there are some things you need to do if you are going to bring gifts with you. Okay. God, okay. we do. We take our gifts to Grandma. Right, we're, going, we're going home. What are we going to do? Do not pack your gifts. Regardless if it's a check, I, I do not wrap your gifts if you're going to check them or carry them. Don't wrap them because security needs will probably open them. So you're just going to oh, be... Oh, really? Raised. Yes. Yes. Even in your luggage, um, it could set off something. If you've got your mother a vase, if it's lead crystal... It's going to set off some sort of an alarm. They're going to unwrap it. So what you want to do is pack your gifts in your suitcases, unwrapped. And your carry-on? In your carry-ons, too. If you want to bring, it, make sure they don't have the fluids in them. So if it's perfume or, you know, jellies or something like that, those go in your regular suitcases. So really, if you show up with a wrapped gift like you have right here, by they the way, you the, did a very nice job on it. Thank you. They have a, the right to open it up. Really? They can't just scan it to make sure no. there's nothing. Why? If you, you if know, you it's just the machine, what their rule is. They should be able to open it up and look through it. And you know, the, well, they rip it open. Have you ever will. seen that? Yes, Instead absolutely. Of, like, take it. Be careful. No, the best thing to do is guess what? Go out and buy some gift bags. Okay. And That's the way put the them anyway. in your suitcase, just like that. When you get to Grandma's house, open them so up, put the unwrap, stick it in there, and you got your nice present, and, and you don't have wrap. to worry about. It. When right. You get, to get there. And the thing is, a lot of people try to do just the carry on, but you don't know if you're going to get perfume, if you're going to get jellies oh, from that's grandma. Right. That's my thing. And you I know? know people are thinking about this these days. People don't like to check their bags. I'm, I'm just saying. I know. They don't. And it's they horrible. don't want to lose their gifts. Or if you get to a place late and your bags don't follow, you know, you're worried about this gift that you're not going to get for grandmother. Right. That is a concern. Right. You can always try to ship them home. And you know what's great? Uh, companies like Best Buy, you can actually go online and say you're going to. Order them and pick it up at the store where you're, you're traveling oh. to. So you just put in the zip code and you can go and pick up your gift there. If you'd rather not, lug it around. And you don't have to pay for the shipping that way either. Yeah. Uh -huh. Good tips. Yes. A lot of inexperienced travelers out there. I think you helped some of them out. Thanks, right. Jen. Thank you. Nice.